Servus, hello there, Andrew here and today I want to show you how to gild an armor and metal in general. Um, I already gilded parts of my old armor but I bought new ones for arms and legs and the gilding on my Visha already was quite worn down. So let's do it again and I want to show you how to do that. Um, <laughs> The ones of you who already gilded some stuff most probably used gilding milk. But that doesn't work on metal and in addition isn't waterproof. That's why we will use gilding oil, which first been used like 1600 years ago in the late ancient times. Also stay tuned because I will use real gold and fake gold as well for you to determine whether the price is worth it. The first thing we need to do is to create an evenly surface because the sheets of metal we will apply will have the same glossiness uh, as the surface below. I use a 400 grain grinding fleece but normal sandpaper does the job as well. Before we apply the oil, we will have to clean the surface, for which I use pure alcohol, but vodka should do the trick as well. Of course, you can't use like olive oil or something like that. You will need a professional oil mixtion, or mixtion, I don't know the correct pronunciation. Um, see it written here. We will apply only one layer, quite thin, and then we'll have to wait a certain amount of time, which usually is written in big letters on the product. In my case it's two hours. In retrospect I should have taken one with a longer time frame though, like 6 or 12 hours, because then it's way more precise and the appliance is much more relaxed. so much that it's perfectly sticky but not hardened. The real gold is so-called transfer gold and sticks to the paper. Because of that you don't need any further tools and don't waste any material and that's way more easier for beginners too. 25 sheets of the real transfer gold 8 times 8 centimeters cost a bit less than 70 euro which I bought from Creamer Pigments link in description. Not sponsored again. 100 sheets of the fake gold 10 times 10 centimeters were 5 euro on Amazon. Because I spent around 3000 euro on my armor, the few euros more for the real gold on some parts are worth it, I think. In addition, the scratches that will happen on the real gold are far smaller because it's only a few atoms thick. If a weapon touches the fake gold, it will rip larger chunks off. The third advantage of the real gold is that it's available in the transfer variant. That makes it very simple to apply for beginners and you won't have a mess to clean up. That makes the experience of gilding much more fun and enjoyable. The main advantage of both is, apart from the optic upgrade of course, that the metal won't rust at the places the gold gets applied. Some fake gold can get a bit dull over time though, you never know.
The fake gold is so thick that you can grab it by hand and press it down hard with the paper that separates the sheets. Here you have now the direct comparison between the real gold and the fake gold. It's much thicker as I said, so you can see where some folds formed. It ripped apart while gluing on or removing the excess. And here it's much more evenly and the reflection values match. In order to illustrate the difference much better, I put some flocks of the fake gold on top of the real gold. I'll cover that up later. You can see the glossiness doesn't depend on the, on the roughness of the metal underneath. That's it folks, please do the usual YouTube button stuff and support me on Patreon for bloopers, early access and so on as my Patreon war clad. Thank you. Um, I just came back from the tournament and already while unpacking at location I discovered that I have forgotten the most important part which is to protect the gilded areas. I should have applied one or two layers of linseed oil varnish. Um, yes, well, now it's terribly scratched and I basically have to start from the beginning. But at least I now could see that there's no real difference between real and fake gold when it comes to durability. So I just burned basically 70 bucks. Fuck. At least you can learn from that. See you in the next video then. Bye bye!